and welcome to another Parts Factory installation tutorial video. Today we're going to be working on this 2007 to 2013 Subaru WRX. Now everyone knows that the WRX is also an Impreza, uh, so it's going to apply for the 07 to 13 Imprezas as well. Specifically today we're working on the driver's side uh, window regulator, it's the electric type. Uh, but I will point out that the crazy thing about this car is it's got a faulty rear reg, left hand passenger reg, and left hand front reg as well. All four regs, all broken, but I only got the driver's side front at this stage. It sh this tutorial should apply for the left hand front, but it might be slightly different to the right hand front, but look, I do think as long as you follow the steps, you should be able to tackle each one independently. Right, so this product will be available on our website after about the 30th of July. If you watch this video before then, we do not have them in stock just yet. But yeah, I'll chuck the link for the product in the description at the bottom of this video or a link to the top left of the screen once it applies. And um, that way you can check out our product um, on our website. I'd imagine with buying through us, we'll see you savings of up to $400. Everyone knows Subaru goods direct from Subaru themselves are ridiculously expensive. I believe that's just certain patents they have on their products, etc. But yeah, ridiculous, uh, ridiculously expensive. So yeah, definitely check that out. Alrighty guys, let's get into the fit. Right, first things first guys, you've got a little cover in here that um, covers up a Phillips head screw. Same thing in here. And then I reckon once we've got those two screws out, the door card will actually pop off. Just using a regular little plastic pry tool, etc. Pull this Phillips head out, it might fall into there. Grab it out with your fingers and stick it on the floor of the vehicle. Same thing down in the pocket. Obviously just put your little tool in. See it just flips up like so. Grab that out. Right, we're gonna start on this side. We're gonna use this little um, plastic pry tool. Just gonna stick it in underneath the door card, in between the door card and the uh, door shell itself. Then you should just be able to give it a little pry. I'm hoping you just hear a, you'll hear the plastic tabs all start letting go. That's one or two, it's coming along. Coming along. All the way up to here. Okay, so we've pulled the sides of the uh, trim and you can, all the clips have let go. And now you've got to get this um, master switch off here. To do that, what I did was I put a tool in under here like this. I just like this, pop, and it popped the back trim. I did the same thing on the front, put it up like that, pop, and it popped out like that. Uh, it's probably the most difficult part of the job. Um, you just gotta be a little bit careful, you know, take a bit of time to get that job done without breaking anything. And then of course, come in here, just depress that little plug, one, and of course, two. And we've got these Phillips head screws here, one, Two, should just pop off like that. Just make sure you follow the way I went to get that job done. Now this is where you just need to be a little bit del delicate here. These door um, rods, just pop it this direction and bring it up like that. Same thing here, pop it that way and bring it up like that. And that's it. Oh. To do this next part, I'm gonna just pull this little plug out of the door lock actuator here. Uh, one and two. So you've got the bottom one first and the second one here and then this here I'm going to put my little tool in and I'm going to try and leave it in one piece like we have. You see that wiring sits there like that now. Uh, you can either tuck it in there or just start to pull this piece back like that. All the way back you can grab these tuck these maybe up out of the way like that just so they sit there for now I'm gonna keep bringing this this way and you can see that wiring now pulls through now you kind of want to while you're there you kind of want to gather this gooey stuff up gather it up onto this trim piece just keep um oh god very sticky stuff um, and you can use the sticky stuff to actually Stick it out of the out of your way. You can rotate it and stick it out of your way there. 
I've got to keep going anyway, so just keep bringing it along. It's like so, now that we've got all the way down here. Yeah, you've got to get to this blue plug there, but hopefully that just all stays there and you can see it's all over my tools, but. Right, at this point, you can obviously see your regulators there. Um, if yours is, the cables are gone, your window will be flopping around. You can just pull your window up and down until you see the two Phillips head bolts, so it'll expose them here. Once you undo those bolts, the glass can come out. Mine is broken, so that means we have to do it a little differently. So, um, we're now going to start by undoing these 10 mils here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so if your regulator is stuck in the up position, uh, you're in a bit of a pickle there because um, you can't get to these Phillips head screws. So you can't really just take the reg out. It's stuck in there. Well, how do you get it out? Well, what I've done is I've confirmed that the replacement regulator is a direct OEM replica, etc., etc. Uh, our product from Parts Factory, that is. And before I um, go ahead and cut any of this, I make sure it's going to work. I plug it in. I use the uh, master switch. I put it up and down and it worked, okay? So that should mean that I should be right to cut one. <laughs> In and cut the other side of the reg. So you're cutting the wires, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so straight away you can see the glass comes down. Of course, that's now useless. So is the entire regulator itself, um, but we'll bring the glass down as per usual if it was a regular way we're going to do it and see how we can access those 10 mils now. Glass drops down, bring the glass out through the top without dropping it, without bumping up against anything and just placing it over to the side. So now that we've cut those wires, the rest of the unit will just fall. And just bring it out like this. Stick it over next to your other component and just make sure that there's no other shrapnel in the door. There it is a bit there. Okay, uh, now that we've got the old window regulator out, it's time to come in with the new. Put it into this position where the motor faces forward and lift it on up into the area. You can just kind of lift it in like that. First things first, hang it on these two tabs at the top. If the tabs exist, which they do, there they are. You can see those tabs hang there now. And what that means is this bolt down here should line up perfectly. So grab it and put it in. Because that means it'll all stick there now. Now the last thing is to put the motor in, same fashion, it's got those little tabs that kind of hang. Um, there's one, there's the second. And again, these two are in, so what do you do? You put a little screw in, like so. And at this point, you can tighten them up so they're not going to fall out, but don't ugga dugger them. Plug in guys, it just goes in like that, push it in, you should hear a click. And at this point, we want to bring our master switch over, plug it in, two, turn the ignition on, and the regulator will now work. Bring it down to where you can see the little mount for the glass. Now you can re-unplug unplug your master switch. We no longer need it. All right, now we lower our glass back into the door. It just goes in on a bit of an angle. And then as it enters, you just line it up with the seal on that side. It's not hard. Seal on this side at the same time. See how it's kind of sitting there on its own weight? 
bang, bang, and then you lower it until it reaches the regulator. Keep going. And then you can see, bang there, it lines up. Leave it there. These longer 10 mil screws. One. There you go, don't rattle gun that too hard. The shock. Right, your glass is in, reg's in, everything's functioning. It's time to put it all back together. Remember our fun plastic stuff. It's good to have this stuff because it's insulation. It'll help keep your ride nice and smooth and quiet. Um, remember we bring the plugs through the plastic stuff like such. Yeah, and then just glue it back down. As I said, it's not gonna make much of a difference. Uh, you got your cables here and your wiring, etc. Oh, the cables are supposed to go through there, but that's okay for me. Um, I'm gonna bring this all the way down to here, gluing it up as we go. Now you can bring your door locking actuator plugs back over to here, plugging them in one by one. Right, so we're now gonna obviously um, tuck our cables back through the hole here. But first things first, we're gonna do these door handle um, cables. And top one's in, it's the same as this procedure here. So just, um, yeah, see that little, see that little niche there? This little ball goes into that niche. And you can even pull on the, once you get it in, you can pull on the door handle so it goes that direction and then you can just push that black cable back in there. There you go, there. So to get this door card back on, I've popped this little trim piece off. I'm just gonna hang it over there and that way we can just come straight up and over. And then it should just sit down there nice and flush, like so. And then make sure your plugs are still out and then this trim piece can now go back on. The last step, of course, is your two screws. Um, that go in this area here to reinforce the center console. It's the most important screws, basically. Um, one, two. At that point, you can go ahead and you put your switch in. Um, obviously, it's the same as how you pulled it out. Putting it back in. One and two. So, once you get that second plug back in, the master switch comes back in, it pops back into place, one and two. And then, of course, the Phillips head screw down in the guts of it. You just guide it in with your finger, tighten it up and pop that flap down. And we all remember the same one up here, guiding it in. Just had to guide it in there a little bit by twisting it around and then you pop that flat. And at that point, you wanna turn it on, make sure it's still working. <laughs> um, and that would be our job complete. Okay, all done. Realistically, pretty easy job. Um, cutting the cable, having the window rake drop down made it extremely easy to get the old one out, of course. The new one goes straight up in there. The glass goes straight back into the door. Um, and yeah, that's literally just about it. Remember guys, if you are interested in this product, I'm gonna leave the link down in the bottom of the description. Check it out on our website. It's probably gonna be around $148.30, but we haven't decided on a price yet. Alrighty guys, my name's Lucas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.